Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to answer all of my most asked questions while you guys come along a day in my life. So let's go. The first question I get asked all the time is what restaurants do you own? So I'm gonna show you a couple of them today. The first restaurant we ever opened is called Cafe Lola. I call it the coffee shop in a lot of my videos, but it is so much more than just a coffee shop because we have the most amazing food. Our second concept is called St. Honoré. It's a couture donut shop, which you'll see a little bit later, but a lot of people actually confuse our coffee shop and donut shop because we do have these donuts at Cafe Lola. But Cafe Lola actually makes these ones in-house. They're baked, gluten-free, vegan donuts, and they're so delicious. So as of right now, we have three full Cafe Lola locations. We have one about to open inside Forum Shops at Caesars Palace. We also have a pop-up Cafe Lola inside the Raider Stadium here in Las Vegas, and then we have two donut shops. Another question I get asked all the time is how did I get into the restaurant industry? This is kind of a long story, but I'm gonna try and summarize it for you. My first job ever was at Sonic, and then I worked at Chili's all through college, so I've always loved the customer service part of the restaurant industry. And when I was growing up, my dad actually owned a Mexican restaurant in Auckland, New Zealand, and it was so popular and delicious. I remember visiting the restaurant all the time, and I would just always make hot chocolates in the back. Fast forward, I got my degree in art, and then I got my master's in health promotion, and then I got a PhD in higher education. I started working at the university as a student integration coordinator, and I would plan a lot of the events on campus. And that's where I met my business partner, Lynn, who was also working at the university in the law school. While I was getting my PhD, I downloaded Instagram. And I remember to this day that I was so nervous. I was like, why is anyone gonna wanna follow me? But I just started posting all of my favorite things to eat, all of the things I made at home. And then I also started promoting all of these awesome local businesses in Las Vegas. Being a foodie made my love for good food and drinks just skyrocket. And when I met my business partner, Lynn, she actually had a side hobby as well. She was throwing events with a company called Ladies Who Dine. One day she asked me if I wanted to partner with her on an event to raise money for Make-A-Wish. I of course said yes. And then when we started working together, we realized that we just had a really great partnership. Where I had weaknesses, she had strengths and vice versa. The event turned out incredible and it actually led us to doing more events at different restaurants to help promote them. Then one of the restaurants just actually wanted us to completely take over their marketing and social media. And then we realized we had to create a company. We literally created a social media marketing company overnight. I remember sitting in the restaurant and we both looked at each other and we're like, okay, let's do this. And she literally filed an LLC that night. And then I designed the website and we were up and running. After a couple months, we had so many clients that we both were able to quit our university jobs and do our marketing company full time. For the first year of our marketing company, we were working out of a ton of different local businesses, mostly coffee shops. This was like seven years ago. And at the time we saw a real gap in the market. There was no coffee shop that was more feminine or had options like gluten-free and vegan or oat milk and things like that. So from that moment, we knew one day we wanted to open a coffee shop that was inspired by women and that had amazing food and drinks with so many options. It was one year later that we finally found a location that we loved. But when we told the landlord our idea, he was like, you guys do not have enough experience. You've never opened a restaurant. You guys are probably gonna fail. And he didn't give us the lease. At first we felt pretty defeated, but then we found another location. We actually had kept driving by it and the building was so beautiful. We called the landlord, set up a meeting. He loved our idea and we pretty much signed the lease a couple weeks later. And that was our very first Cafe Lola. If you have a good idea or a dream that you've been wanting to do for a long time, don't ever let one person's no stop you from doing that. The next question is where did the name Cafe Lola come from? When I first moved to Las Vegas, I had broken up with a boyfriend, I was single, and I ended up getting a dog. It was a Cavalier King Charles, and I named her Lola. She was literally the love of my life. I can't even explain how much I loved her. And then when I met Lynn, her mom's name was Lola, so we were like, oh my gosh, we both have two loves in our life named Lola. That was just always gonna be the name. The next question is where did we get the inspiration to start our couture donut shop? There are these pastry shops in Paris that all of the pastries are lined up in these lines and they just look like pieces of art. St. Honoré is actually named after one of my favorite streets in Paris where a lot of the couture shops are. So when we decided to do a donut shop, we were like, we wanna create donuts that no one's ever seen before. We want them to be over the top, the most gorgeous donuts, but that also taste delicious. The next question I get asked all the time is if our husbands work in the restaurants. And this is Steve, he is my work husband. It's so funny how it worked out because Steve and I actually work in the restaurants all the time. Steve is actually Lynn's husband, but he has the same love for food and customer service as I do. So him and I actually work in the restaurants 24 seven. And my husband, Michael, works with Lynn out of our corporate office with the rest of the team there. Another question I get all the time is how I balance between being a mom, a content creator, and a business owner. My first and most important job is being a mom and they always will come first. I have two daughters named Sophie and Mila. And luckily we have an incredible team which allows for that kind of flexibility where I can put my kids first. I get to pick up my daughter every single day from school. I take her to gymnastics, her ballet, and all the other activities that she loves to do. If we didn't have this entire team of us four partners, the GMs that we have in all the restaurants, our director of operations, we would never be able to do 
what we do. We each take our role in the company very serious and we stay in our lanes, which is really nice. For content creation, I literally just set my phone up somewhere and I just film what I'm doing for that day. Whether it's creating something special for a customer, creating a new menu item, or fixing one of the many problems that come up almost every single day, I just film it all and then I edit it later. I try to film as much as I can and get a ton of footage. And then at night when my babies go to sleep is when I try to figure out what videos I'm gonna post. To be a content creator, you actually have to have a lot of dedication because there are nights when I'm so tired, but I'm like, no, I need to edit this video because I have to have something to post for you guys tomorrow. So just know I'm thinking about you guys all the time. What would I recommend to other people wanting to start a business? Here are my top three tips. Believe in yourself more than anyone else. If you have a strong belief in your abilities to make your dreams come true, there is not one person that can stop you. Number two is learn every single day. Whether it's watching a video, learning from someone else, or whether it's just taking advice from customers, just always be learning and try to improve your business every single day. Last but not least, don't be afraid of the competition. There's always room for everyone to win. We went into some very crowded markets like coffee shops and a donut shop but we were able to separate ourselves from the rest. I think it's good to do your research and see what the competition is doing before you open. But once you open and you figure out your brand and see what makes you different, I think the best thing to do is focus on your goals and only be in competition with yourself and stay focused on making your business as best as it possibly can be. Okay, now should we do some fun questions? My birthday is March 8th, so I'm a Pisces. I was born in Zurich, Switzerland, but then we moved to Australia and I grew up in Auckland, New Zealand. The most beautiful country I've ever visited, ooh, it's a tie, I think, between Switzerland and the Maldives. They're just so beautiful in different ways. I have two favorite drinks. My first one is the chai latte, but I'm very picky about my chais. And the second one is an Alex's coffee, of course. We have the Alex's coffee on the menu at my coffee shop, but it's basically a coffee with oat milk, honey, and cinnamon. It's delicious. Something I could eat every single day is an avocado toast on gluten-free bread. I'm also obsessed with our gluten-free donuts. The chocolate chip one is my favorite, but I could eat one of those every single day, but I try to limit my sugar. My favorite donut from our donut shop will probably surprise you, but it's a classic maple donut. And my favorite couture donut is probably a tie between our creme brulee and our chocolate hazelnut donut. We launched our pizza shop inside our donut shop like two years after we opened. It was around the end of 2020 when everyone wanted delivery and they didn't want to leave their houses. At first it was just going to be kind of like a ghost kitchen idea. We called it Pizza Anonymous and it was just a secret pizza inside the donut shop. But then it just became so popular that we just decided to incorporate it into the donut shop. Now I'm heading to go pick up my daughter. Thank you guys so much for watching and let me know if you guys have any more questions for me. Bye.